one of the challenges today is that um, even regular churchgoers, so to use a word I don't love, but <laughs> uh, only go, only attend church maybe twice a month if they're really faithful about it, right? How do we, how can we do spiritual formation uh, in this world where, you know, we're, we don't always go on these, this journey together uh, consistently? Yeah, that's a great question. And that's what we actually are trying to answer with mm. what we call fuller formation groups. The mm. primary thing we work with churches on is how do we use new modalities to do the old work of relationship? Um, you know, it's actually, how do we, and, and, and the, that's the question is the people at your church, how do they have spiritual friendships? Yeah. People who are going to journey with their relationship with Jesus with them in this moment, not necessarily become their best friends and carry their casket when they die, but journey with them in this very particular space and time. Yeah. And know yeah. the truth about their life. How do they do it when they're only in the same building? Barna thinks it's 1.4 times a month. Hmm. Um, we need new ways of doing it. Now, some people have said, oh, we're going to make it easier for people to attend. Hmm. So they preference technology, hmm. Hmm. which allows people to enact their mind and gain information, but yeah. not in a enact relationship. Yeah. So one of the things we're trying to do is figure out how do we use the best of technology that gives us the capacity to enact real relationships yeah. in human space yeah. and at distance. Yeah. So our formation groups over the course of a year, you're in the same space four times for 24 hours where you're touching, thinking, feeling, eating, talking, praying, all of that together, and then using technology to help people journey with each other over time yeah. in real relationships. Hmm. Um, so they have a monthly small group, some engagement they do asynchronously online. Hmm. And it's remarkable to think these simple interventions that really take about 45 minutes a week, huh. people regularly say, these people knew me better than the people that I go to church with. Wow. If they're in a wow. mission institution or yeah. I've gotten to know these other four people faster than I have the people I've been in a small group with for the last five years. Wow. Because we are deliberately centering relationship in the process of discipleship, yeah. not making it a hopeful byproduct mm -hmm. of a Bible study or a prayer group right? or things that center information or ideas in the process of discipleship.